Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Sim Shack. It is Tuesday, 26th of March, 2024. I'm Sim UK, and today we're going to take a look at Robin Hood Sherwood Builders. Now, big fan of uh, Robin Hood and Sherwood Forest and all the Robin Hood movies and films and TV shows that have been on over the many, many, many years. So this could really appeal to me if it's done well. Came out on the 29th of February 2024, developed by Mean Astronauts and um, published by Playway. Playway, I think, are about to start delivering more of these sort of RPG uh, open world game experiences. I, I, I can see their business model is to create a template and then build many games off the back of that template. So I think this is the first possibly closest thing that we've seen from Playway in terms of like a triple A uh, title. It's nowhere near, I doubt it's anywhere near a triple A title, but this is like the first dabble in that area, I would say. Uh, it's $24.99 on Steam at the moment and mixed reviews on Steam. So uh, I shall jump in and we'll see just how well this plays. Difficulty level, hard, has to be hard. Otherwise, I'm not playing. Um, sprint mode is hold. Actually, we'll put that on toggle. Combat mode is precise. Don't know what the difference is. Um, blood. Okay, it's either on or off. We'll apply those changes. Graphics. So it's not picked up on the fact that I'm running 4K, so the screen resolution isn't quite 4K. 1440p, but that's okay. We'll, we'll leave it as it is because uh, it tends to cause problems otherwise. In fact, I think it just changed to 2560 because now it looks slightly blurrier. So let's go back and see if it did actually pick up on 4K. Uh, I should not have clicked on apply. Oh, there we go. There we go. So it was running 4K. It just wasn't saying that it was for some reason. Very strange. Right, audio. Obviously, I have to turn the music off because um, YouTube are trying to destroy the livelihoods of all small music creators. And we'll have a look, quick look at controls. You can play with an Xbox. I'm going to start at least with um, keyboard and mouse. We'll go from there. Never played before. This is my first look. Kind of looking forward to it, actually. Let's jump in and let's go. Sometimes in the course of your travels, you may find yourself in possession of special items. These are typically related to quests. Okay, Middle East, the Dark Ages. It's like the movie then. Cool. Robin of Loxley survived the burning suns of faraway lands as he served his role in the Unforgiving Crusades. He emerged unscathed from deadly skirmishes just to become an exile and face mightier enemies in his own home country. After his previous hideout in Silwich, which was razed to the ground, the forests of Sherwood granted refuge to him and his retinue while its new rulers threatened all. King Richard the Lionheart's untimely demise plunged England into chaos and left roving bands and their petty warlords free to fight amongst themselves for territory and influence. The Sheriff of Nottingham, a murderer and usurper, exploiting the pervasive lawlessness, pillages one area after another, increasing his power and leaving the poor residents of Sherwood at the mercy of Whoa. violent fate. Whoa, and that's the tree. The tree is a bear. Bloody hell. Right, well, I've got to say, that is a fantastic um, introduction. Really, really, really nicely done. And graphically, this is looking really, really sharp in 4K. It's in 60 FPS at the moment, but I haven't moved. Now, traditionally, in um, any, any game that I've played from Playway, if you spin around at the beginning of a game, your FPS will drop to about 9. <laughs> 
So that hasn't happened. So this is looking a little bit better than usual. Right. So that's the lady that was just hung. That's hanged. It's pretty horrid. I've got to speak to Tuck. I'm guessing Tuck is down there where the exclamation mark is. Nice outfit. I can't really get the camera in front of him to look properly, but it looks as though I have one arrow. Or I won't waste it. Right. Combat mode. Uh, precise. No movement whilst attacking. A more realistic and demanding combat mode allows for more precise execution of combo attacks and easier enemy targeting but demands more thinking when it comes to timing your attacks. Intended for players who prefer a more tactical approach to carrying out attacks and positioning in combat. Or we could play in dynamic mode, which is an alternative mode that permits movement whilst using basic attacks, which makes it easier to dodge enemy attacks, but requires you to have greater control over attack range and makes combo attacks are more difficult to carry out. Intended for players who prefer to focus on basic attacks in combat. Let's go for this one. So I've got to pick the difficulty mode again. Okay. Never played before. I shouldn't really slam it into hard mode, but... What can I do? This is looking... Really rather good. I'm quite impressed with it so far. Although, noticeably, an audio is missing of the bridge. Pretty sure I turned off the music as well. Settings, audio. Ah, did I not hit the magic apply button? That's what I did. Ah, now I can hear the bridge. Okay, good. Introduction, press enter to read the tutorial. Robin Hood's main goal is to liberate the four regions in central England, J, from the ruler of the Sheriff of Nottingham and his followers. Eliminating enemies and aiding the defenseless through quests and events increases Robin's reputation in the given region. If I press J, ah, J, okay, J brings up my goals. Achieving a score, <clears throat> excuse me, of 40% reputation in a region unlocks the ability to start its main story quest, whose successful conclusion ultimately liberates that region. While exploring a region, you will encounter events and quests that will bring you closer to completing your adventure main goal, which is M. Some of these will include saving village residents from execution, escorting them and rescuing them from kidnappers. And I can see I've got more than one arrow there. So I suspect I literally do have one arrow. Hey, I'm back really quick. Yeah, Kamal, I have a lot of reviews to get through and um, I've not been well enough to do them. So I'm trying to catch up. Attacking convoys, warehouses and tax collectors. Defending people against corrupt knights, ruthless soldiers, forest raiders and many other threats. Your character development will depend on the effective use of skill points and the expansion of your own settlement allowing you to craft the necessary items, gain special abilities, or produce the necessary raw materials. Okay. Okay. Let's go talk to Friar Tuck. Hello. What's this? Well, E. Food and hydration. Ah, right. Well... Water bottle. I don't have a water bottle, so I can't get water out the well. What the hell was that? A rat. Let's go talk to Fry Attack and we'll figure out what we're doing after that. I always worry when you're away from home for long, Robin. Oh, I get to pick. My good Friar, the Sheriff will face death well before I do. My good Friar, the Sheriff will face death well before I do. I like my voice. Um, I also like the fact that it's got 
Thank you very much for the sub. Sorry, I, I can't pronounce your name. I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't know how to. But thank you for the sub. Um, I like the fact that it's got voiceovers. That's very, very, very cool. Um, and like I said, this is like, it seems to me like Playway is starting to venture into the more upmarket sort of games, which is very exciting, I think. Haughty as always. I'm just glad to see you in good health, friend. Don't worry. We're not in danger this time. We're safe here. Nothing I can do after the nightmare that the Crown's men brought on us and our old home. This time they won't run into us. We're well hidden. I saw to that. The previous settlement was so goodly. I know you all too well, you crafty fox. I'm aware you're scheming to fight back. What matters is everyone made it out alive. After I defeated Black Henry and freed Marion, the Sheriff completely lost his composure. I must stop the enemy before he becomes too powerful. The enemies! The King and Sheriff don't stop at their own henchmen. You constantly hear about ever more scoundrels plaguing the surroundings of Nottingham. King's allies grow in numbers. Some are bought with land assignment, others threatened with death and confiscations. We must weaken the grip of the King and the Sheriff if we are to feel safe here. Definitely, Robin. Recently, little John had his shirt cut. We can't take risks like that. He'll recover. You know him. We each have our crosses to bear. You say so yourself. Well said. You may be right. This settlement seems secure. This time, no one will find us. Time to let an arrow loose right into the beast's heart. I believe you, dear Robin. But before you do that, you must regain your strength. Setting up a new village is exhausting work. Eat something, have a drink, rest in your home. We'll talk later. Okay, equipment and inventory. This is what your inventory looks like. You can find all your equipment in it. You can access it at any time by simply pressing I. Hold tab to access it during the game. You can also use hotbar items by pressing the relevant number key. Okay. Your backpack has a limited capacity and carry weight. As you progress through Robin's skill tree, you will be able to increase the amount of space in your inventory. Sometimes in the course of your travels, you may find yourself in possession of special items. These are typically related to quests. They weigh nothing and take up no space in your inventory. <clears throat> in the world, you will come across several sets of apparel. Each consists of seven items, armor, gauntlets, trousers, and boots. Improve Robin's skills needed in battle. Parts such as the hood, shoulder, and cloak are items that only affect his appearance. And you'll notice a distinct lack of um, microtransactions in, in this game, I suspect. Without protection, the Forest of Sherwood would be impossible to survive, even for the craft craftiest craftiest of outlaws. A special gear can be produced in the weaving mill, which can be constructed in Robin's village. The armour Robin wears can only be switched out for another. Robin always wears armour, or sold to a merchant. It's worth to remember, however, that crafting and collecting isn't always the easiest feat. Items you no longer want in your inventory can be discarded on the ground. Remember, however, that they will most likely disappear irretrievably after time. If you don't want to lose anything, put it in a safe place, preferably your chest. Okay, what's this? A bit of salt. Anything here I can grab? No. Some pigs there. It's pretty cool. They actually look like pigs too. So all of the merry men, we have a nice new place. I can't say... We ca I can't say. We have a nice new place, I can't say. That doesn't make sense. Be careful going into the northern grotto, though. You could dig up a heap of stone there, but the walls are unstable. I was almost crushed by a boulder there recently. Carl from the hamlet. Okay. I see the well, but I still don't have a bottle, so I can't use that. Where am I heading? Let's eat food and drink water. Okay, I just picked up a stone. Two stones. Oh, hello. 
please. Marion! Look out for yourself when you're out gathering the herbs. Very funny. I've been locked in a tower once, and now there's no end to the jokes. Jokes? Me? My dearest, I'm only a simple outlaw. I know nothing of jokes. Just like I know nothing of herbs. Come here, simple outlaw. I've missed you. And I have missed you, Marion. Going back to your woes, Little John has been teaching me how to swing a blade properly. Anyone who gets too close will now find themselves a head shorter. Mm -hmm. Nicely said. Open barrel. What's this? Beer! Alright, we'll take the beer. And a stone. I'm doing well for stones. So I've now got a yarrow. If I go, if I hold tab down, ah. So if I go I, I can add some of these things to my inventory, I'm guessing. So water bottle, let's put that on nine. Beer on eight. Oh, skewered boar. When did we get that? And a yarrow potion. And a bit of yarrow. Okay. So now I can just... So where did that bottle go? There it is. Empty bottle. Hmm. I don't want to craft. Oh, do I want to craft? Yes, I do want to craft. Okay, I see how that works. So we now have two empty bottles. And we'll have a little bit of boar to eat. Now I've got to go to sleep in my home. Wherever that is. Sweet. I'll see you at home, love. I'm knackered, I'm going to sleep. Sleeping is important. It not only allows you to save progression, but also restores your health. Look for places marked with owls and lanterns. This is where you will be able to rest. Be careful, though. After a sleepy night, your hunger and thirst will get the best of you. The game auto-saves whenever you're f you fast travel or walk up close to a signpost or stable master. There is no auto-save in combat during an event or during instances related to some quests. Checkpoint. What do I do? Free slot. Choose when to wake up. I'm guessing that's night time. Daytime, so that'll be the morning. Right, got to go speak to Tuck again. What have we got here? I think I'll take one lot of coins. What's this? Antidote and a beer. All right. Good morning, my love. Been stood there all night. Have you already managed to get some rest? Good friend, it'll never cease to amaze me how little sleep you need. This can't be healthy. It's good for you, as long as you have water instead of wine, good friar. I'm not swayed by this. Besides, those who sleep don't sin. I'll keep my wine. <laughs> I knew how you'd react. Take it easy, Tuck. Your cask supply is safe. I should think so. It's a strategic reserve for a time of crisis. Certainly. Not another word. I take it you slept so well you misplaced your weapon. Where is your bow? Request This time I didn't lose anything. I broke it during the hunt. We've had so much work with building a new village that I haven't had time to craft a new one yet. The forest hasn't been kind to us of late. The worst is behind us, however. 
And now you can take to making your bow in peace. Grab a hatchet and fell a few trees. The wood should suffice for both the bow and the arrows. I have a hemp cord here that should do as a bowstring. That's all the help I need. Thank you, Tuck. I know how much you value your weapon. See to crafting it. Sounds rude. Right back. Our village needs your help. Surely, 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 surely. Wait, 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 wait. You don't want me to chop that tree down? No, surely not. I think somewhere there must be a hatchet. So I'm going to try and find that first. Who's this here? Well, she doesn't move at all, does she? Art of trade. Ah. Traders can be found in villages and towns throughout the realm. They'll happily buy and sell items in exchange for gold. Every trader has their own specialization, which determines what they can sell you. Fortunately, they'll buy whatever you're willing to unload. If you want to earn more from trading, remember to develop the skill in the skill tree, which affects just that. To buy an item you're interested in, select it from the list, choose the amount, and press buy. To sell an item from your inventory, select it and press sell. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh -huh. Change combat style. Ah, okay. Little John. getting along with Tuck while I'm away. Lately, he got the crazy idea of been nicking wine from his pantry. Can you believe it? Well, have you? Of course I have. But he ain't caught me red-handed. And if he does... You'll tell him that's not your red hand. Interesting voice. Uh, everyone else sounds kind of English, almost. Manage your village. Okay. Wow, this looks interesting. Uh, so we've got hunters. No one's assigned as a hunter yet. Fishers. No one's assigned as a fisher. Herborist and miners. Okay. And then I can build buildings. Trapper's hut. Sorry, house. Trapper's hut. Shooting range. Training grounds. Tavern. Furnace. Blacksmith. Kitchen. Alchemy lab. Weaving mill. Quarry. Lumber mill. Farm. And pavement. Pretty cool. I have two total workers, two available workers. So can I assign someone to this job? You'll do. So he's going to go hunting. I might as well have you go fishing. Brilliant. How do I get out of this screen? Oh, hello. Oh, I can move around now. This is rather spectacular. But it's like we got all this space over here and all these trees that we can chop down. Pretty groovy. Okay. <laughs> How do I get out of this? screen there there we go what's this more yarrow balm looks like there's a chest over here aha there's nothing in that storage box so Oh, I do have an axe. I didn't realise. There's me looking for an axe when I've already got one. Let's take down this tree. <laughs> I don't think we're chopping that down. Is there a specific tree you want me to attack? Looks like there's some green ones over here. I think it's these little trees. Not a whopping great big oak tree. Okay. Oh, 
time. Mining raw materials is a tough job, but you can speed up and improve your work. All you need to do when mining is to strike at the right moment, shown by the cursor icon, and you will reduce the time and energy required for the next string. Cool. Tools and weapons have their determined durability level. It decreases with each use, and when it reaches zero, the item remains in your inventory, but unusable. When a tool or weapon loses all of its durability, you can simply decide to make a new one, or you can use also use repair tools. They can help you restore your equipment's durability. Every tool you use has a sharpness level. It determines the type of resource that you can extract from the environment. The better the tool, the rarer, the more valuable the resource you can get with it. I've no idea if I was timing that correctly or not. That's something I'm just going to have to keep trying until I figure it out properly. Right, so I have some pine. Um, I need to chop down more than one tree. Ah, I see. So if I do it exactly the right time, I get a 12. 12 units of wood or whatever. Crafting and character development. Owing to Robin's crafting skills, you have an easy time creating some basic equipment. Select the item that interests you in the inventory, choose the amount and click the craft button. Items that need more specialised equipment, such as swords, will require you to return to the village and use specially designated buildings. Learning new skills or improving the ones already known requires experience. You can gain it in many ways. From fighting enemies, completing quests, extracting resources, hunting and gathering to construction. Skill, skill points can be used to develop the skill tree or spent on developing buildings in the village that affects your special skills. Knowledge is power. Skill points can also be found in the world in the form of books or scrolls. So you can sort of shortcut the learning process, I guess. Right, so if I say... Okay, so I can... Mm -hmm. So let's craft a bow. Using that um, horsehair or whatever it was that he gave us. So I've got a hundred and twenty arrows. Nice. Right. Craft the bow and then go back and speak to the Tuck. I've got to say, this is looking a little bit good. I mean, we haven't really got anywhere or done anything yet, but I'm liking what I see so far. I'm not a big fan of third person camera view, though. I wish I had a first person option. But, um. It's a, that's a me thing. Oh, wow, look at the cow. That's quite impressive. Everything is quite well modelled. What was that? Seeing things. With a bow like this, you have nothing to fear. Unless you get on Marion's bad side again by telling her <laughs> to cook for you. Nice. Even the purest steel and holy water wouldn't help you then. Time's long past. We've explained things to each other, and agreed. I wouldn't make this mistake again. <laughs> uh, speaking of who, have you seen her anywhere? Be at ease. This time no one lured her into a trap. She left to help the locals. She'll be back sooner or later. That sounds like her. You said you could use my help here? Yes, there are many things we need. Food, most of them all. A better archer couldn't be found in all of Sherwood. Before you set off to take from the rich, perhaps you could use your skills to aid us. I'll gladly try out the new bow. 
Stoke the fire. We're having a roast tonight. I'll leave the meat in storage. Everyone in the village is working so intensely, a small feast should lift their spirits. Great hunt. Right, one way of securing food is through hunting. Luckily, there's no shortage of game in the local woods. A hunter's skillful eye is bound to promptly spot prey when it's most easily found. Those are alert, careful creatures. Sometimes they're a tricky quarry. It is essential to approach them carefully and make good use of your archery skills. To use your bow, all you need is a few arrows and a free arm to draw it. Senses are one of your more important skills. Their development significantly affects gameplay and is possible by developing the trapper's hut in your village. Pardon me. Hunter's vision and tracking are the most useful senses when hunting. However, remember to also develop intuition and keen eyesight, the levels of which improve the performance of the other senses. Okay, so R is hunter vision. Okay. So... I'm going to get 25 dough meat from somewhere. From over here. Okay. Oh, hang on. What was that on the floor? Is it just another rock? Right, so keeping my eyes open for deer. I imagine it's got to be around here somewhere. Is that one down there? Deer by the water? I don't think it is. Maybe it's a barrel. Oh, there's a there's a there's a chest there though. Let me have a look at that real quick. The no climbing mechanic to speak of. Stone. Salmon. More beer. And mead. Oh, I love mead. Mead is wonderful. Right, so we've got a lot of arrows now in our quiver. That's what it's called. And over there as well, look. Ale. What's of alcohol about? I'm not seeing any... Oh, hello. How do I get up there? No deers to speak of as yet. Yeah, so there's no climbing mechanic. That definitely sets it apart from a triple A, triple A game. Um, okay, so clearly that's not the way forward. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? Who the hell are they? Jesus Christ, I didn't expect him to come around the other side. Right, well, looks like we're in our first battle then. A few to get him down. 
Okay, I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, looks like I can get something from this guy. Stack of coins. Very nice. I thought it was somebody I could talk to. I didn't realise it was uh, a baddie. All right, a bit more salt. A bit more beer. I'll just get take all. There we go. That's much easier. Uh, okay, good. Did I injure myself at all? I think one of them got a hit on me. How do I check my health? Hmm. I don't really know what my health is, but I think we're okay. So, where on earth am I meant to be going to get... Maybe I've gone the wrong way. Oh no. It's sort of indicating that I need to go up there. How do I get up there? Oh, hello. Just by magic. Get out of the way. Don't hit the baby. Okay, the range on the bow and arrow isn't that long. Try and sneak up on them. By the looks of things, there's more people about. I'm quite impressed with the lighting. Sun rays or the god rays, whatever you want to call them. They look pretty nice. Take a bit of practice. Whoa! That was a better shot. All right, so that was five. Missed. That's five units of Domi. Hit the tree. <laughs> We've got 10 out of 25. I'm wondering if this is like a, a hunter's thing. Maybe I'm supposed to stand up here and wait for them to come to me sort of thing. <coughs> There's all sorts of birds. Look at that. That's nice. <laughs> I can recover my arrows, that's good. Stand up! Damn it. How do you stand up? So if I draw my... If I draw an arrow, I can't stand up. That's quite annoying. You can't draw an arrow in cover and then stand up and fire it. Wow. That was pretty cool. How do you cancel a shot? Oh, 
Ah, you press left all, you get extra power. You were lucky. I tell you what, that was close. So it's interesting that the meat doesn't spawn. Sorry. In the same location as where the deer dies, if that makes sense. Where is he? Oh, I missed him. Right, that should be enough. Deliver the meat to the warehouse. Okay. That was fun. I quite enjoyed that. Wow, flipping hell. I wonder if they can hurt you if they run into you. That would be cool. Oh, hello. Bit of copper. Filling up my inventory very, very quickly here. Bit more copper. I have a sneaky suspicion there's going to be a mission that requires copper. Wow, there's copper everywhere here. And some dead dude. That's freaky. Ah, oh, I see. That's copper. Right. We can come and mine copper at some point. Uh, oh, there we go. Who's this? And stable masters. You can use the map to fast travel to a chosen signpost or stable master location. You can only use it if your destination has been discovered. You're not in combat, in an event, or certain enclosed locations. For example, castles. Fast travelling to a signpost costs hunger and thirst, whilst fast travelling to a stable master costs gold. A dash line on your map hints at the nearest location of a fast travel point. Okay. While viewing the map, you can press the Show Keys button in its lower left corner to display locations where a key in your possession can be used. Some keys are specific and pinpoint to a single location on the map, whilst others are more obscure and can only be assigned in an area. The Show Reputation Sources button on the map allows you to distinguish locations where you can earn reputation from, uh, from all others. Okay. It's a game named after your cat. Indeed it is. Although I didn't know his second name was Hood. Hello, Tez. How you doing, buddy? How is that roast you promised coming along? Seems to be still leaping about in the woods. Isn't there a fast today? Maybe I could trap a beaver just for you. Oh, um, I'm supposed to take it to the warehouse. Is that the warehouse over there? Oh, not that way. I see. Right, let's drop in 25 dough meat. And someone will cook that up. Presumably, tuck. 
Just out of curiosity. Did I miss, or is that invincible? It's invincible. Okay. Saints and heavens above, you're back safe and sound, good Robin. Allow me to ask, how was the matter of our does? Was your hunt successful? How long have we known each other that you still need to ask? <laughs> My eyes haven't failed me this time either. I just hope that there's enough for everyone. Please, make sure they have a warm meal today. By the blessed mother, of course it shall be done. Well fed and under your leadership, they will soon take up proper work. Hmm, what do you mean by that? The expansion of our settlement, of course. The merry men are starting to run out of breathing room. You are surrounded with many loyal people. Each of them needs a roof over their head. The more houses there are, the more able bodies we have for work. I think I know what you're hinting at, Tuck. Have I become that predictable? Hmm, in that case, I won't beat about the bush. We need wood to construct homes for the village's inhabitants. There's more of us here with each passing day. Okay. So... Pine storage and stone storage. Right, well, we can do the stones pretty quickly. Um, I'm not entirely sure where they go. Stone storage. Where would that be then? Press M. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, this is the map. My word, that's quite a big old map. And I don't think that's all four corners of it, is it? Is it? I don't know. It might be. Okay. Um, so that's the Sons of Adam camp. It's an available quest. How do you navigate the map? Ah, uh, left click. Okay. Construction, trader, notice board, bed. Well. Roof over everyone's head, storage. So I want to go over there. Ish. A village to build. Expanding your village is a means to help you develop and gain new skills. However, before you can start building structures, you need to uproot enough trees to make room. To move around in builder mode, use directional keys. The camera can be rotated with your mouse as you right-click. As you expand your village, you can choose one of the smaller trees you want to cut down and construct a selected building in its place. Trees cut down this way go to the storage. Nothing is wasted. Okay, so you can instantly do it. Okay. Uh, where's, is that, ah, okay, storage is here. Ten stones. Nope. Nope. Wrong. That's because that's doe hide, you spanner. What the hell's a stone look like? Um. Let's shift and grab. Yeah. Takes half. Right click. Takes all of them. There we go. Got there in the end. Right, that's ten, uh, ten stone. Now I just need to go chop some pine. Looks like there's some sort of building going on over there, that. Is that just a bridge? Huh. I actually don't know what that is. Something or other. So, right. I need to take down these smaller trees. Hmm. 
And I didn't get so much wood that time. Yes. Is that an accessible tree? Yeah. No. No, it isn't. <clears throat> oh, hello. Sage. So that's an accessible tree there. We'll have that. How many is that? Um, one more, I think. Oh, we got five that time. Lovely. Right, let's get this back in storage. Build whatever it is we've got to build, and then uh, I want to go. I want to start attacking some castles or some uh, convoys and stuff. There was a mine there. Maybe fell off. And How many are supposed to be in there? 20. So we've got to construct a house and then speak to, to Friar Tuck. Okay. So, let's go house. Oh, I need two workers. Damn it. Okay, let's bring these guys back. Although that's probably helped us. They've probably been out there getting some food and stuff. Right, so, how does this work? Oh, I see it goes to the side. It goes round the tree. That's kind of cool. Uh, I want to see it being built. Or is it just instant? I know they're building it now, look. Oh, I can't go up there yet. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. I think it's done. There, there you go. Are. I saw the new building. A fine job. I've always Thank you. believed that carpentry is an exceptional craft. Me too. It's true. Looks cozy. Now is the time for the people who live there to get to work. Fortunately, none of them expect a free dinner. We have a few tool production specialists here, and if you build a furnace, you will see that for yourself. Hmm. Tuck, are you trying to use some underhanded ploy to send me out into the woods? God forbid! This time to the quarry. The furnace requires stone. Extract it and watch over the construction. You won't regret it as we need the tools the furnace provides. Oh my gosh. Okay. Have I now got stone pickaxe? I thought as much. Ah. Oh, it looks like I'm thirsty. Um, so if I press this... Can I just drink some beer? Doesn't seem to be quenching my thirst. Um, let's go into inventory and put some water 
in slot number nine and swap to that instead. Ah, there we go. go to the well. Okay, that's pretty cool. It didn't really say anything about me being so thirsty, so I wonder if perhaps it doesn't really do anything. I don't know. We shall see. I'm getting hungry, though. That's the problem. So we, we discovered the mine a minute ago. Sorry, I didn't mean to bang into it. Mm, uh, I can't remember where I saw it, though. How was it? Over there. Yes. Oh, what have I got to get? Pine, stone, and reed. Okay. Oh, that's stone. Look like copper. Probably got 20 stone. So I'll go drop I think I'll go drop the stone off first because we're running out of space. And then I'll come back and uh, get the wood and reeds. I haven't really seen any reeds. I'm guessing they're down by the river. Oops. Stone. Have I got any uh, sage, copper, copper, doe hide, pine? I've got 15 pine. That's a step in the right direction. So we need five more pine and I've got to figure out where to get some reeds from. So Hunter Vision um, is only available every so many seconds. All right, let's go get some wood then. Build some more arrows. Ah! That's, I think that's the first time I've done it properly. Prior to that, I just thought I was. Okay, good. Now I know what it looks like. It's actually quite hard to get the timing right. Okay, I'm getting better. A bit more practice required. Right. Um, reads, 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 reads. They read snow. Hmm. How long is it going to take me to find some flipping reeds? What was that? Ah, reeds. Get some extra reeds just just to be sure. Right, it's groovy, that didn't take too long at all.
now I'm finding reeds everywhere. Look at this. Look. Everywhere I look, there's flipping reeds. This stage. This is looking really good. Uh, uh, I think um, I read in the... Oh, the house is ready. Let's go have a quick look. I read in the Steam reviews, someone had written... Um, I forget their name, so apologies. Uh, and I'm paraphrasing a bit. But uh, something along the lines of this game would have been incredible 10, 15, maybe 20 years ago. And I, I'd say, yeah. But... Considering Playway haven't really released anything like this before, I've got to commend them and say they've done a pretty darn good job. I'm impressed. All right, let's see if I can figure out this splitting system. It doesn't really tell me anywhere, but Control, left click, splits it in two. No, it doesn't. Control, left click, takes one. Left click takes all of them. Control, shift, left, oh my god. Let me try again. Shift, left, kick, takes half. Okay. And how many was I supposed to put in there? Three. So I need five pine. Um, so, control, shift, uh, control, oh my god. One, two, three. It's just quicker than trying to do it the right way. Construct a furnace and then speak to Tuck. Excellent. Oh, wrong button. a bit of time to start building it. Don't even look at me like that. I'll start digging in a moment. Of course, dear Robin, of course. Spoke to him One just a little Robin, bit too early. You've mastered the portion of duties related to managing the village. I never doubted your hunting abilities, but governing a township is an entirely different skill set. As you see, I can manage that too. Ha! Ah. Let's hope no roofs fall on anyone's head. I can think of at least one person in Nottingham Castle who could use a roof collapsing on his head. Robin, though I do have a similar sentiment towards falling roofs and the sheriff's head. Anyway, listen to me well now. This is a serious matter. So, you know how to be serious. I can, and so should you by now. The village that we're setting up here is only the beginning. You'll see for yourself that in time, we'll learn how to function not as a band of forest outlaws, but as a well-organized community. That's the plan. I'll make it so that the people will live free again, safe from the Sheriff's tyranny. Of course, I believe it. Even if I didn't, that would make scarcely a difference with your persistence. What's this about, then? About the people, in fact. For now, those closest to us. You realize we're surrounded by a vast and marvelous land, after all. It is inhabited by various houses, groups, and alliances. It's often the case that they are not quite fond of each other. I'm aware of that, Friar. Try to win the sympathy of at least a few. Show the denizens of this <laughs> land that not all hope is lost. Having their support means you'll travel the road further ahead with greater confidence. Hmm. Reasonable. Is there something I should start with? Every action taken against the outlaws or the men of King John and the Sheriff is an action that counts to every one of us. When the King's steward looks to take some good person's head, you stop him. When you see a caravan laden with royal gold, I'm sure you see where this is going. I understand. There are, however, places where exceptionally unsettling things are said to happen. What do you mean? The Barnsdale region is a place where you can find both the King's men as well as bandit ruffians. 
The sons of Adam and the waved children make up the chief threat there. Apart from them, the local people are bound to accept your aid. They deserve it, and they'll have it. They mean as much to me as the people live in our forest refuge. Very noble of you, dear Robin, as always. I know you believe it, but you must make them believe it too. Some of those people are afraid and just want to survive. Others don't really know what to think at all. Convince them with your actions and the Sheriff's reign will fall faster than you expect. I believe you, Friar. Are there any places I should see? I have two in mind. Would you prefer to hear about mysterious thefts or wolves in a silver mine? Hmm. Let's do the wolves. Wolves in the mine. Those wine casks were meant for an emergency, not for a single dinner. Very amusing. Wolves is a moniker given to House de Grey by the locals. You will find Hildewolf Mine to the southeast. It belongs to King John. Hmm. This already sounds interesting. Since recently, though, it's been swarming with de Grey's men. Word is, they took by force, with little regard for the King's law. Is there any chance they'll finish each other off? I do not know what to make of this. On the one hand, they are the enemy of our enemy. On the other, they're known for wars and conflict that they start with nearly everyone they meet. Anything else? The de Grays also dabble in exotic alcohol trade and scheming. I won't deny that the former interests me more than the latter. I can wager a guess. Right now, the most important matter is that the peasants from Hildewolf Mine fell out of the frying pan and into the fire. The boot of their new tyrants weighs heavily on them, and they surely need the help of someone like you. Besides, access to silver may help us arm our people better. Mysterious thefts? Hmm. Sounds like something right up my alley. I don't know much about them, but I've heard tell that traders travelling through Barnsdale are relieved of their riches in a rather crafty manner. Searching for any remaining loot or culprits has been futile. The outlaws? The sheriff? The sheriff wouldn't have bothered to hide anything. Outlaws would have left clues. Talk to Nicholas. He's a cloth merchant and an old friend. He's probably sitting somewhere in a tavern and mourning his loss. Hardly a wonder. I'll speak with him. Maybe I'll learn something. I'll look into it. me, O'Reilly, you can talk. Right, so I press T to find Nicholas, the resource trader, if I press M. Gosh, where is Nicholas, the resource trader, going to be? Is it one of these? Or is it this? Ah, I think it's that way. So I've got a bit of travelling to do. And I'm still not sure what icon I'm supposed to be following. So it is the, the triangular one. Right, okay, let's get on and do it. If we get into any scraps along the way, that'll be fun as well. Is it this way? Ah. There's a little path going up here. Oh, hello. There's a little mine down here. Do I reckon they're in here? Ah. No. It's just a basic stone mine for gathering more stone. I wonder if there are wild animals and stuff up here as well. That would be kind of cool. I have to find something to eat at some point. Whoa, what was that? Hemp. Okay. Try and grab all the weird and wonderful riches as we go. What's 
What's this thing over here? Where I heard something move. Can't see anything though, so I'll carry on. Oh, hello. I was going to say, I don't know how to get back up there, but there's a path, so I don't have to worry. Yeah, this looks like just the place. What have we got here? Robin Hood, dead or alive, 100 coins. Can I collect that or anything? No. It's uh, very possible that uh, we're going to meet non-friendlies here. The effect on the water and the audio is really good. Let's hit a checkpoint. Oh, oh, Christ almighty. Oh, dear. The wrongful of first night started. What the hell? What happens if I hit her? Yeah! I hope I didn't hit her. Run, man! Oh, he didn't jump that very well, did he? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I've got to go back. I can't leave her. That was a terrible shot. Maybe if I can get on the bridge. Or maybe if I can get up there. Hey, what was that? Oh, what the hell? Where did that come from? You, you cheeky get. He's a good shot. I'll give him that. Oh, there's two of them shooting at me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that was a terrible shot. Okay, that was interesting. First proper battle. Right. The right of first night. Sarding lawless times and I'm still whole. But my Edwin isn't bloody lordlings. What did you do to that lord? What was I supposed to do? Stand there and give myself? I bent my leg in the knee and let him have it so hard his eyes came together. But Edwin, <laughs> poor thing. It's not your fault. They started it all. They should get what's coming to them. They got theirs, but they should have got more, painfully. They call me Robin Hood, and I have an offer for you. You're not likely to find peace here. Sooner or later, someone will come after you. My village is filled with people who don't want to be ruled by lords and brutes. You'll be welcome there. I have some dowry gold. I don't think it's dowry anymore. I can also work, but not here. Not staying here. Now you keep it. Gold. You'll have use for it yet. I'll show you the way to our outpost. When you get there, tell them I sent you. Talk to Marion, and you'll never get hurt again. See you again, Robin. Until later, Martha. Right. That's our first bit of reputation gain. Don't think our health is too bad. Go and see what the, all these guys dropped. Oh, there is a climbing mechanic. Okay. How did I do that then? <laughs> There's a gate there. I uh, didn't even notice. Okay. Ought to 
This is cool. You can pick up the arrows. You can pick up the um, the loot that they drop. Sometimes when you can see it in the light. I was having a few issues with the running mechanic. Sometimes it doesn't seem to want to run. When you're in combat. Can't jump over that for some reason. Looks like something you should be able to jump over. Maybe this way. Okay, so you can only jump over it one way. That's that's worth knowing. All right, so we're going to find Nicholas, the resource trader. I don't know how low my health was. I haven't a thing left in the larder. Barrel there. What's that? Coarse pouch. Some arrows. And some beach. Right, take all of that. We're fully laden now. Um, some salmon there. I'll try and cook some of that up. Mm. Ah, different kinds of arrows. Wooden arrows and copperhead arrows. Ah, copper. Yes. We have some copper somewhere. John Richard. Now, Henry, that was a proper king. So it's a good mixture of like European, British, and what sound like American voice actors. But you know, I'm I'm glad they've got voice actors. It's very beneficial. I can have a little sip of water. Look. Ask myself a fresh one. Can't take any more from me. Their family will stop. Um. So eat the apple. There's an apple there. Look. To do with that. John Richard. Ah, no, Henry, that was a proper kid. There's a bit of money there. Pay more taxes. Pay more taxes. With bloody what? With bloody what? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, mum, 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 mum. I need to find a cooking place. Oh, hello. What's this? Discovery of copper deposits. Copper deposits have been discovered to the northwest of Wentbury. At uh, Wentbridge. They are, like everything else in this land, the property of your benevolent sheriff. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to grab all of these because this guy's freaking me out. I probably shouldn't grab them all at once, but I, I don't know anyway. Um, I think I'm going this way. Look at that. That is cool. I don't know how long they'd stay there for, but the fact that there's arrows stuck in the side of the bridge and you can get them out, that is that is very cool. I'm impressed. I'm getting more and more impressed as, we, as I play, actually. Oh, there you go. So you just press jump when you're up against the edge. Let me try it here. Okay, so there is like a climbing mechanic. I see the dude as well. Oh. She needs to wash her face. Maybe you've seen my Elric. Sadly, good woman. Bit rude. I don't know who you're talking about. About my Elric, my son. I haven't seen your son, no. But maybe I can help you find him. Will you do it for me? There's so many double entendres in this in this game. It's unbelievable. With great pleasure. Helping you will be an honour. Oh, such a well-mannered youth. You remind me of my Elric. What do they call you? Robin Hood. Robert. That was my husband's name. It's a sign. Had. Had. Another poor soul. He went and died years ago. Ah. Now Elric does what he can to feed us. Can I tell you a secret? Ah, uh, yes. I'll take it with me to my grave. Elric left to hunt. I know he's not allowed to, but how else are we to eat? 
Right. The forest is meant for all. Say no more. I'll help. Just tell me which way your son went. As always, he went into the forest north of Wentbridge, but this time he hasn't returned. Don't worry about a thing. Your son will return. Right. So, um, where's that apple? Let's eat the apple and hope that I find some way of hooking up that salmon. So, north, that's southwest, west, north, east, north. I'm guessing it's up the top there somewhere. All right, let's go. I'll oh, just out of interest. How many arrows do I have left? I have no pine. Oh, it says 151 arrows. That's surprising. Okay. Ah, I've just figured something out. So when I press Alt, that's when I get the special arrow shot. So that's the copperhead one. So if I want to kill somebody, like, outright, like in one shot, that's when I press the Alt button and get a special uh, power shot. I'm guessing, I'm guessing. Oh, there's a crate over here. Now I'm confused. Which way am I going? Am I following the triangle or the person? Because north is that way. Ah. I think I may have gone and spoken to the wrong person. You don't have tracker one unlocked. Press U to learn more about the required skills after you leave the conversation. Okay. Right. So I've got bow attacks, special attacks, sword attacks, and senses. Uh, special attacks, no skill. So that's locked. I see. So it... Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. And I'm supposed to have Tracker. Well, tag them to you again. Story of my life. Oh, what am I supposed to have on that? Tracker one. By the way. Where does it say tracker then? Am I just not seeing it? Ah, they're tracking. Okay. I need a trapper's hut first. Right, okay. Right, let me hit... Oh, my God. So now the triangle arrow is pointing that way. Find Nicholas the resource trader. See, look, the exclamation mark is definitely pointing to that guy in there. Right, tr track down Elric. Let's do that instead. I could use a good night's sleep. Far away. Not quite sure how to get up there, if I'm being honest. Looks promising. No. Nope. Yes. No. An angle. Okay, good. Oh, look. There's a beam of light. Shining down. This, this is a thing, for sure.
Earth am I meant to be pointing this at? Ah! Whatever the heck that is, we're not quite ready to do it. That's fine. We'll come back to that at some point. It's like you can't sprint when you're going uphill. You can't sprint when you're in combat. I'm just wondering if it's because we haven't sort of unlocked the skill to do it or something. There's a deer. Who am I helping? Help us, oh, I see. Oh my god. Took me a while to figure out where the, the friendly guy was. Oh god. When you said help, did you mean, like, do everything for me? Help right. Us, Just stand there, I'll deal with them. Crikey Moses. Perhaps I should get the sword out. Uh, you got a deer there. Did you see that? Yeah. Alright. Sword time. Yeah. Christ. Christ! Yeah. They're throwing axes at me. That was unexpected. My health and everything is going right down now. I had no idea they were going to throw the, the axes. Run, damn it! Oh, I don't know how to heal myself. I'm dead. So that's my stamina. Oh, my, I'm in so much trouble. Son of a bitch. Please help. Yeah, I'm done for. Help us, please. Help. Run. Help. He can't run, he's got no energy. Okay, that was pretty, pretty intense. Last save. Okay, I learned some stuff then. A, we have stamina. B, these guys throw axes. Oh, I've got to do this again. I nearly shot her in the head the first time. I think I killed her. <laughs> I actually did kill her this time. <laughs> All right, caring for your health. Could have done with this tutorial like ages ago. Losing your health is a daily occurrence in the dangerous lands. You have come to explore. Unfort uh, fortunately, a good outlaw knows how to keep themselves safe. Healing potions, certain foods, and sp specially prepared pol poultices will be essential. One of the more important items you can encounter during your travels is the inconspicuous water bottle. It's a special item that's used for collecting water and brewing all sorts of mixtures, particularly the healing ones. Think twice before you throw out a bottle in the forest. Sleep is also a good way to regenerate health. Remember that after resting, an outlaw may become hungry and thirsty. Okay, I'm going to let them kill me. And then I'll do this again. I was concerned the first time that I was going to put an arrow straight in her head. I didn't actually think you could. But now I know better. Right, so I have to be careful. That's really cool. A lot of games just wouldn't have included that as a... Um, 
as a potential option. So I have to be careful. I have to make sure that I don't uh, aim too low, I suppose. And he's, he's limping, look. Son of a bitch. Can I not pick up his sword? I'm running out of time to save a life. Did I miss? God, I must have done such a good job first time round. Now why why didn't that get him in the head? That looked like a good shot to me. But it obviously wasn't, so whatever. God damn it. Wow. He jumped out of the way. I'm getting absolutely minced. Can't believe how well I did first time. Oh God! Oh, nice. Found the trader. Shoot him in the leg. Where is he? They're bloody good shots, I've got to give them that. Sometimes it feels like my arrow doesn't fire, but it still hits them. Like then. Bloody hell, I died again. I, I made this look easy first time, didn't I? Lesson learnt. Right. Let's try and save a lickety split. <laughs> Bloody hell. How did I do this so well first time? Oh my good lord. Can't hit from there. Oh my lord! Right, hang on. Load game. Last checkpoint. Is that it? 3.02 p.m. No, 3.17. What? They're not in order. That's very weird. Must be that one. I hope I haven't loaded the wrong one. Okay. This is ridiculous. I absolutely smashed this first time round. I'm so annoyed now that I can't do it. I've lost my mojo. Good start. So he's not running. He, it's like he can't run at, ang at, at an angle or something. Him in the leg. Yeah, I did that last time as well, didn't I? I get to the bridge. Oh, that was close. Run, man, damn it. They are good shots. Oh 
my god. How do you defend? I'm out of energy. Right, that was slightly better than last time. I think there's one left somewhere. Nothing. Right. Didn't look quite as good as the first time I did it, but hey, we got there in the end. And talk to the lady here. Are you all right? The right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep your gold. Reputation up. Right. Okay. So, we're gonna drink some water. Craft some water. What are they gonging? That's the church. It's very cool. Right. If the king keeps this up, he'll get what's coming to him one day. Uh, I'll get... Okay. He'll get what's coming to him one day. Right, let's put the apples in five. And have a little something to eat. I sure would fancy a steaming bowl of porridge. And I'll see if I can find some arrows. I need to go talk to the guy's mother again. And then... And then we've got to go and attack those bad boys with the axes. And then they're quite nasty. So there's no guarantee that I'm going to be able to get past that point anyway. Maybe you've seen my Elric. Hello, hello. Okay. So. Track down Elric. I need to get a couple of arrow shots in nice and early. Uh, to hopefully drop one of them down so that I've got a chance. So it's just me against two of them instead of three of them. Just three axe throwers is a hell of a lot. Should probably make sure that I've got lots of stamina in advance. Actually, I don't think my stamina is going down, interestingly. I if I can... I wonder if I've got something... A bitter-tasting substance, quite odd in colour, allows you to generate some lost health. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Right. I now have an empty bottle as well. Oops. Here we go. There's four of them. I only remember three. Where did the fourth one come from? Help you. How about you help me? Oh, seriously, dude, that was not helpful. This is bad. It's, oh, the flipping deer get in the way all the time. He saved that on his shield. Oh. Oh, he's running back. 
Why is he running away? Why is he running away? Did I kill his mates? Oh no, they've returned. Oh, I see. Hang on, have they all just like regained all their health? Run then, Jesus Christ. Sometimes he just doesn't want to run. I don't really understand when or why. Help me. Need to start hitting the same guy more than once. Got to kill one of them. Oh, they're healing themselves. Oh, my God. Wow. Try and make them hobble a little bit. That'll slow them down. Did not mean to do that. Maybe they'll be slower through the water. You're scared. Oh, maybe not. Help us, Christ, that scared the crap out of me. Help. Oh, I missed him. Right, one down. Help. Where's your friend? Help! I see him. Oh, missed! You were such a lucky deer. Right. I think there's still one here. That or it's just a deer. Running about, freaking me out. Right, I think we did it. I think we, um... Saved Elric, whatever his name is. That must be all of them. Are you alright? That was intense. No, nothing. I'm alright. Thank you, stranger. Not exactly a stranger. You must be Elric. How do you know? What do you think? My mother. Exactly. I promise you'd make it home safe and sound, will you? Yes. Thank you for helping. Come to us when you have time. I'll try to repay you for your efforts. I'll find you when I'm in the area. Right. So he's going to repay us for our efforts. That's good. The long run back. Try and grab some bits and bobs on the way. Anything I can see. I wonder if you could take damage from jumping from a great height. That's best it. Yes, you can. Okay, good to know. Ah, this is how I should have saved it here, look. to come around this way and then they wouldn't have any, even been able to get their swords on me. That was stupid. Why did I do that? Right. Let's go to the well. Let's craft some water. I don't know how to craft medicine, so we'll not worry about that for now. Can you climb ladders? Curious. Reeds. 
You can't. You cannot climb ladders. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. I wish they put that in the game. you are. Elric, this is Master Robert Hood. Say hello. I know, Mother. You don't have to. Ah, uh, I don't have to what? I don't have to what, huh? Nothing, Mother. Good morrow, Master Robert. Good morrow. Please, Robin is fine. Thank you for your help, Robin. Accept this as thanks. It's not much, but it may come in useful. New skill points available and reputation upgrades and stuff. Thank you, okay, Robert. cool. What did she give us? My inventory's full. I can't I can't pick up anything she's given me. Damn. Um okay, let's put the arrows in there for our special shot. Let's put ale in inventory. Uh wolf hide. Interest. Interesting. Interesting. Um, salmon. Yeah, we need to find somewhere to cook that. And a barley roll. Is that food? Yes. Right, so should we take that? And we'll take that. And I think I ought to eat something. So, where's that onion? Oh, you can't eat raw onion. Okay. Good to know. Right, so our reputation is now 7.5 out of 40%. I've got to go speak to Tuck. Or, have I got to increase my reputation to 7.5 first? I think maybe that's what I've got to do. So, there's all these little tasks and missions that I can do. Damned king and his hellish taxes. Even at a time like this, if I could, with my bare hands, I would... What? What would you do? I've seen people go to the scaffold for more restrained words. Have at it, God's child. Go, fetch the royals right now, and let them do their thing. Hanging the helpless is all they're good for. Forgive me, my lady. I didn't mean for it to sound that way. I'm no threat. On the contrary, can I help? You'll pay all my taxes after my father's death? I'm sorry for the loss in your family. But what do you mean by taxes? How could your father have passed more than once? I'm not amused, stranger. One tax to the ruler for his loss of labor, a second to the robe at the graveyard for burial, and a third called the dead arms pay. That one? For what? For this miserable house and scrap of field to keep them in the family. That sounds like too many tragedies in one place. How can I help? Why do you want to help me? Let's say I have my quarrels with the king and enjoy doing things that impede him. You talk like a man I could grow to like. My name's Lori. <laughs> Robin Hood. It's a pleasure. Yes, and now for the specifics. In a nearby warehouse, there is stored silverware that belongs to my family. We sold them one day to make ends meet. I understand you want me to steal them. If you can, yes. I see no reason not to pay with the same silver for the same tragedy. That's a wise approach. Yeah, I'll be good, back with your good idea. Right. So where are her silvers? Uh, this way somewhere. <clears throat> so I wonder if this is going to be a stealthy sort of affair. Or whether I'm just going to kill everybody on the way in and kill them again on the way out sort of thing who knows uh, is this the royal warehouse i think it might be and i think we might have some uh some guards in the vicinity Get my bow ready i've got very little health no food to speak of that looks like a way in and that looks like an archer Ah! 
Who opened the bloody door? It was you. Oh god. Can't take too many hits. Missed him. Can't see. Oh my god. That's not good. At least the arrow man can't get me. Oh god. Don't miss again. Just about got him. Got me. I've got to stop missing. Right, my health is super, super low. I don't think we're going to be doing much more fighting at this rate. Need to find a way to heal myself. Hopefully that's the only two guards. Of course it's not. Of arrows. That's really not good, is it? Come on then, one at a time. Oh my god, that is a long sword. Climb over the uh, thing. Come on, I dare you. Climb over. Why does it always sound like there's someone behind me? Oh no. Of a bitch. Right, one last life, I think. We have absolutely no weapons of any use whatsoever. Oh no, really? I'm in it now. What a shot. That was better. Oh, that was not nice. Got hit by an arrow. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Sometimes it doesn't fire. It, I, I'm sure it's not me getting hit by an arrow or anything like that. Go back. Shoot him down, man. Shoot him down, man. All right, I'm going to leave it there. This is a very, very, very good game. I really like it. No, it's not a AAA game, but it's the closest to a AAA game that I think Playway have ever released. And on the hardest difficulty settings, it is quite hard. I suspect as I upgrade my weapons and my armor and stuff, I won't find it half as difficult. But right at the beginning, I'm definitely struggling. 
Um, and there's loads of really amazing cool features in here. There's good audio. Okay, you can't climb ladders, which is a bit of a frustration. But you can, you know, shoot the rope out while someone's being killed. And if you don't aim well enough, you can kill them by putting an arrow into them. I think it's just brilliant. Um, I very much agree with the uh, comment or the review that I read on Steam. If this had come out... 15, 20 years ago, it would have been one of the best games ever. Everyone would have liked playing it. But by today's AAA standards, it's not there. Now, the pr problem is, it's £25, and it depends what £25 is worth to you. Um, but if you just take... I always try and take the money element away, because, you know, if you've got, if you've got enough money, uh, £25 is nothing. Uh, if you've got no money, £25 is a lot. Um, so just putting that aside, the money element aside, the game itself, I think is really, really good. Definitely some issues with it, though. Um, sometimes the arrows don't fire when they should. That's really quite frustrating. And I found quite often um, when run is in toggle mode that I quite often can't run. Now, whether or not that happens whilst you're on the Xbox controller, I don't know. Um, to be fair, it played pretty well in um, uh, keyboard and mouse. I do wish there was a first-person view. There may be a first-person view. Let me just check. I didn't think to check. Um, I don't think you can look for it there, can you? Gameplay. No, so it's stuck in third-person mode, which I don't really like. Um... But, again, the performance, pretty much solid 60 FPS whilst I've been streaming. Um, and that's in 4K on everything on Ultra. So, yeah, I think it's really, really, really a good game. And I'm really impressed. And I hope that, um, I hope that they do well enough with this that they release more games like this. Or better still, I hope they continue to develop this one um so that it becomes the best game it can be which may not be all singing and dancing but there are definitely a couple of bugs in there that could be ironed out and a few features that they could add like the ability to climb um ladders and to climb up rocks and stuff if it isn't already there i think it's really good i've, I've got to commend them on what they've done um if I'd have built this game myself, I'd be really proud of it, even though it's not a AAA game. But then this is not really a AAA development team. Mean Astronauts, I'm just going to have a look and see if they've developed anything else that I've seen in the past. No, it's just showing me all the... Uh, it doesn't really show me the, the developers' uh, stuff, the Playway stuff instead, which is not quite what we're looking for. So yeah, I'm really mega, mega impressed with it. I've enjoyed playing it, and um, I'm definitely going to come back and play it some more um, at a time when you know I don't feel under pressure to review it rather than play it and just um, try and find my way through. As a final uh, comment, it does... Um, the amount of information that's on, on the HUD there is a little over the top. Um, I think I finally figured out how to manage that later on. Or well, the more I played, the easier it became. But um, yeah, there. Are, I mean, remembering it's their first attempt at something like this, I think they've done a grand job. But they could definitely have done a bit better with the introduction. And they could have got you into combat sooner and taught you about healing and stuff like that, I think. But, you know, that's just a... That's just a me thing. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. It's been a lot of fun. And um, let me know. Are you going to get Robin Hood Sherwood Builders yourself? If you are, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.